Guys, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I was thinking about on the train in, and this is showing my age, but I wish there was a film that existed like this in about 2000 when I was a teenager, because I think the closest we got was Kevin and Perry Go Large or something. Yeah. Um, and I know in those, yeah, yeah. I mean, in those <laughs> days, it was kind of, these kind of movies didn't quite exist in the way that you tell it in terms of, they were treated as kind of comedies, and it was all about the going out, having it large, as it were. Um, why did you think it now was important to, to tell this story? And why did you want to tell it in, in this way rather than the other way that we've seen before? Yeah, I guess it was a reaction to those films and like trying to make something that's not like hypersexualized or that actually had no grounding in reality from a female perspective that, um, yeah, that, that has all the fun and joy in it, but also tries to sort of say something at the end of the day. Yeah. For you as a young actor, when you when you get a script, I'm sure you're quite excited and you read it quite furiously. And yeah. you, know, you get you get the part, all that kind of stuff. Exactly when you, that. <laughs> yeah, when you read this, I yeah. can imagine the experience was a little bit different because it, it the film was special. So I can imagine the reading the script was special. What was your reaction yeah, to it, and what was your reaction after you'd finished it? From literally the minute like I started reading it, I was you could just tell from Molly's writing how authentic it was and how real like Molly wanted it to be. And for me. You know, I, I was starting to figure out that that's what I really wanted to do. So to have this script come through, I was like, oh, my God, yes, please let me take for this. And I did. And then I met Molly. And obviously Molly is like, amazing. And I was just like, I really want to be a part of telling this story. And luckily, she got the role. <laughs> 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 the, the other bit you're contractually obliged to say, aren't you? But um, you love her and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you yeah. can say all the other stuff. <laughs> <I write. laughs> and in terms of... Tara as a character, I mean, you know, it's a character that's that's very real, very stripped down and everything else. And the characters we don't often get to get to see. Mm. When you read that as a as a young actress yourself and as a young woman, mm. how did you must have appreciated where yeah. it was going and what the, the story was saying and the, and the characterization of, of her? Yeah, definitely. And it was kind of like getting to getting to play Tara was like getting to explore a part of myself as well, especially kind of as a teenager you go through so many emotions of trying to figure out who you are and that was particularly where we met Tara and I was just like this is something that I feel I would love to be able to do because I feel like I relate to it on a personal level of kind of you've she is bubbly on the surface and she's can talk away out of anything and then actually she's got so many layers to her which as an actor as well, I was super excited to get to play. Yeah. For you, I mean, obviously you've had Scrap Your Own in the year and you've done some some other bits and bobs. In terms of directing this, was this always something that you, this was this was a one that you were going to direct or was there some trepidation um, going into it? Yeah, so I, I was actually writing something else and mm. then sort of met up with a group of schoolmates and we were talking about witnessing the blowjob scene on stage when we were on a bar call in Magaluf. And uh, it's kind of like, wow, such a vivid memory that must have influenced us so much at that age. So um, went home and started writing and didn't stop, basically, and then ended up making this. It all kind of happened quite quickly after that. Yeah. And it's, I mean, the way you've shot it and everything else, you, had to, you obviously went back to, to, you went to Mali, or was it Greece? You, yeah, it was Mali. Yeah. Yeah, Greece. Um, going in and shooting it the way that you shoot it, was that an easy thing to, to navigate? Because I imagine it's quite, you're in the environment, so you have to kind of navigate that as well as making a film in, in amongst yeah, it. Yeah, no, it was, it was quite tough. Like, we shot all the party scenes in the first two weeks because... We didn't want to lose people off the island because it was becoming November. It was cold. We had to cast all the extras. We had to like they had to you know we had to like pump them up with music and then cut the music and then get them still dancing and then get them to perform within all these extras. <laughs> so it was like it was really complicated, um, especially the party scenes. Um, and then it sort of got easier as we got to the hotel. But then yeah. even in the hotel, we're doing assaults and yeah. so it was never really that simple. But. Or like a seven-page scene over two balconies. <laughs> Whose idea was that? <laughs> <laughs> How was it for you being in amongst that? Had you had you had that experience yourself personally, or was this uh, what on holiday? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what was it like, kind of jumping back in into someone else's skin? To felt to like we were like right back there. Yeah. And I've said like quite a few times with these holidays, especially when I was at school, it wasn't like are you going on these holidays? It was like, when and where are you going? It was just a given that you're going. So, um, yeah, as soon as we were back in Malia, I was like, yeah, I feel 16, 17 again. I come right right here with it. Um, so it's quite easy to kind of get into that mindset. Yeah. How do you look at kind of cinema telling stories about this now? Because it seems that, you know, people always talk about, oh, you know, there's more movies being made and everything else. Do you still think there's work to do when talking about this kind of stuff? Or do you think there's, there's slowly been, particularly in the 21st century, oh, kind of movement to, to tell these stories a bit more. It feels like there's more have. coming through, you know, yeah. and, and I think for 
like there's so many like Trojan horses like big films that have something to say underneath I think that's yeah. so cool yeah yeah really cool but I think there's always always more that can be done and said definitely yeah uh, I'm talking to you this will go up after the festival we're talking to you in the London Film Festival I wanted to ask you and I'm going to ask the guys this as well what's your kind of film beginnings what's the performance or the film that was the one that kind of made you want to go into this crazy business of show. Please share with us. <laughs> My, mine was Titanic. Okay. But because I didn't understand that film was like not always real life and it really traumatised me for a long time and then I realised that they were acting and I thought, I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe they could have fat, uh, both fitted on the door? I yeah. think they could have. Yeah, it's, it's the controversy that rages yeah, I know, since I know. Right? Yeah, they definitely could have. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Molly, what about you? Um, the first film that <laughs> I <laughs> engaged with was Lion King. Okay. And um, I saw it at this like Pakistani cinema in West Ealing, okay. where you can only have Bombay mix, not popcorn. So it's like a really sensual experience because like people were smoking outside, and it, there was like a snooker hall as part of the cinema. So you'd, the sound was really bad, so you just hear like snooker the whole time, and um, it's like full of smoke, and you're eating Bombay mix. Quite an amazing experience. Yeah. That's, that sounds like quite an experience. To me. <laughs> and also the film's a banger. Films. Yeah, yeah. It's The Lion King. This is the original, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. You never go wrong with The Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, guys, thank you so much for your time. I thought I'd leave it till the end to not mention the fact that I'm a Spurs fan. Oh. Tragic. I thought I'd do it at the end oh. rather than the beginning. <laughs> I mean, I can't say anything right now because Chelsea's... True, but when this goes up... Yeah, who in knows? In a couple of weeks, who knows? Who knows what's happen, Spursy, But Chelsea Spursy women take. pick up. <laughs> doing all right, aren't they? They're doing all right. And we're smashing it. Uh, guys, I wish you all the best with the film. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys.